Hi everyone. What you're looking at right now is what is called a latching relay. And uh, these relays are really cool. I like them a lot. Uh, what's interesting about them is if you see here, this is basically the relay flip-flopping from side to side. And these relays flip to one side and stay there with just one pulse and then flip to the other side and stay there as well again with another pulse and I'm using that relay to control two other relays which this one will control the uh, positive and negative uh, for the coil to go one direction and here's another relay that that's going to control the positive and negative to go the other direction so Basically, the unit is working off uh, these three uh, AA batteries right now in series. And they're going to my uh, meter here. And we have uh, 3.8 volts about uh, going there. And the uh, motor is consuming, uh, you can see, between point 31 is about the lowest you'll see there and about 0.46 is about the highest here or 47 is about the highest you'll see there so I would guess between those two uh, somewhere around 40 milliamps would be what I would guess uh, that the motor is consuming in, in average and um, Here's the motor operating and what I have is at each end here there's a little micro switch that once the coil comes over it kicks the uh, latching relay to one side which kicks one of these relays to the correct polarity uh, for the coil to go the correct direction. And then again on this side, here's another micro switch. And uh, that kicks it to go back the other way. So it's kind of like a little wiper motor. And underneath I even have some uh, little springs installed there to help it uh, bounce back on each side there, you'll see. There's a spring. So the motor is working nice and smoothly. And uh, if you calculate the power, uh, at uh, 40 uh, milliamps at 3.8 volts uh, that's 0.15 watts and at this time the motor is working if it's moving this mass of coil which is 0.9 pounds close to one pound and um, probably just a little bit under one pound and it's moving it exactly one foot per second because this rod is actually six inches and it's moving it each direction within one second so every second it's gone this way and back there's one second so if you look at the time uh, bar on the uh, video you'll see that uh, you can time that exactly uh, it'll do a full uh, back and forth every second so there you go, there's a little bit of a way of calculating the uh, power that there is in this uh, motor. And uh, the power would get much, much better if I had a, uh, two uh, bars uh, like a matrix, uh, dot matrix printer, those old printers. Uh, one uh, individual suggested that and that's a good idea as well. If I would have two of those bars guiding the coil perfectly without it rubbing on the bar. Right now you got a lot of friction of it rubbing on the bar. I've got oil on it and all that. But anyways, uh, there you go. So the motor is now working without a signal generator. And I can input whatever voltage I want now into it. Now mind you, the more voltage I put into it, the faster it will start pulsing. But the harder it's hitting each side here, each magnet. And uh, right now at this voltage and everything, it's working nicely and smoothly. So I uh, wouldn't want to really increase it. Um, 
This is just to give you a little idea of what I'm doing, playing around with. And right here, this uh, battery is pretty well a dead 9 volt battery and it's got about 5.5 uh, volts remaining. And that's what's driving the coil inside the latching relay because that requires 5 volts. And these leads here are 12 volts coming in for the coils of each one of these relays to kick the coil from going to each side here. And on this side here, this is the input of the uh, three AA batteries in series going to the meter there. And there is the uh, data on the meter there. So the motor has been working for probably about half an hour now and keeps uh, working very, very smoothly and nicely. makes me think of wipers going back and forth, the sound. Anyways, I thought I'd uh, uh, do this little video to uh, show you what I'm playing around with. And uh, here's a couple of coils here that I cut open today. And that's for uh, testing uh, another uh, possible uh, motor combination. And uh, it was to test these uh, coils in a uh, opposing uh, field and uh, checking out to see what the results uh, are with coils in opposing field and there doesn't seem to be any uh, uh, counter uh, back EMF happening with these two coils in uh, uh, opposing uh, fields uh, when they come by each other so I'll be probably looking at building a motor uh, with uh, that kind of concept as well to test that out. So that's going to be the uh, next uh, project coming up as well. I'm not saying this is the end of this motor here, but um, you know uh, we have to look at different uh, possibilities as well. So uh, that's about it for now, and. Uh, Keep watching and I'll keep uh, posting new stuff. Thanks. Bye.